All right, welcome everybody. We wish obviously we were inside uh, Low Library, but unfortunately we're not be able we're not able to attend inside. We wish everybody all the best. Obviously, we've been dealing with a tremendous amount of tragedy with the pandemic. We recognize the lives lost, the tragedies that have taken place, the sports that we haven't been able to compete in. But today we want to honor the academic achievements of our student athletes, which has truly been remarkable. We want to thank all the support staffs around our student athletes, the advising deans, the faculty members administration, our university departments in so many different ways that how they support our student athletes and especially those student athletes for their accomplishments in the classroom, those members of the Dean's List, 4.0 GPAs. We celebrate your success. We're grateful that you're a member of the Columbia team. We also want to thank the parents, the guardians, and the family members of those student athletes that are being honored today. We wish you all the best and again, congratulations. After a one-year hiatus because of the COVID pandemic, the Columbia Athletics Program is thrilled to celebrate its highest achieving student athletes over the past two calendar years. Their ability to succeed in the classroom and in competition are always notable, especially given the events of the past 14 months. First, we salute the members of the 4.0 Club in calendar year 2019, who have since graduated from Columbia and Barnard. From the class of 2019, Representing cross country and track and field, a biology major from Columbia College, Tyler Italiano. Another biology major from the college, Alex Sauer. And a neuroscience and behavior major from Columbia College, Emily Acker. From the field hockey team, a Columbia College psychology major with a concentration in educational studies, Katherine Kester. An urban studies major in Columbia College with a concentration in business management, Kelly McCarthy, Columbia College economics major with a concentration in psychology, Kathleen Dempsey, and from the Foo Foundation School of Engineering and Applied Science, biomedical engineering major, Katherine Cavanaugh. Representing Columbia football, Columbia College political science major with a concentration in psychology, Daniel Hong, and another political science and psychology major from the college, Kyle Kastner. Representing the lacrosse program, Columbia College History and English double major, Madeline Stusen. Neuroscience and Behavior major from the college, Emily Manville. Columbia College Political Science major, Lane Parsons. And Columbia College Psychology major, Lindsay Evertson. From Heavyweight Rowing, Columbia College Creative Writing major with a concentration in Computer Science, Benjamin Tilden. Representing men's soccer, a financial economics major with a concentration in business management from Columbia College and winner of the 2019 Eisenhower Watch, Pierce Pomacow. And from women's soccer, Columbia College biology major Carlisle Topping and Columbia College psychology major with a business management concentration, Emma Anderson. From the men's squash program, Columbia College economics major, Adha Mahdi. Representing women's squash, Neuroscience and Behavior major from the college, Matty O'Connor. A Columbia College History major with a concentration in Sociology, Tara Dougal. From Women's Swimming and Diving, Columbia College Biology major, Miriam Ghali. And the 2019 winner of the Phillips Watch, a Columbia College Biology major with a concentration in the Classics, Maureen Rakovic. And representing men's tennis, an information sciences major with a psychology concentration from the School of General Studies, Kashav Velodi. From the class of 2020, representing baseball, a sociology major with a concentration in business management from Columbia College, Leo Pollock. And a biomedical engineering major from the Food Foundation School of Engineering and Applied Science, William West. Representing women's cross country and track and field, from Columbia College, a neuroscience and behavior major with a concentration in philosophy, Abigail McLaughlin. From field hockey, the 2020 Phillips Watch winner from the School of Engineering and Applied Science, an operations research and financial engineering major and economics minor, Micah Blindenbach. Representing women's golf, a financial economics major in Columbia College, Emily Chu. Representing women's rowing, from Barnard College, a psychology and human rights major, Caprice Herchevet. And from the School of Engineering and Applied Science, Applied Mathematics major, Nancy Thomas. From men's soccer, a political science major from Columbia College, Rory Madigan. From women's soccer, an operations research major with a minor in computer science from the Foo Foo Foundation School of Engineering and Applied Science, Madeline Tamaris. 
from softball. A sustainable development major with a concentration in business management, Amber Swinarski. And an operations research financial engineering major from the School of Engineering and Applied Science, Genevieve Salty. From women's squash, Columbia College psychology major with a concentration in visual arts, Zui Kalgatkar. Representing men's swimming and diving, Columbia College sustainable development major, Ningguo Lu. School of Engineering and Applied Science Mechanical Engineering major, Shinya Kondo. And Columbia College Computer Science major, Zachary Pear. From Women's Swimming and Diving, an East Asian Studies major with a concentration in Business Management from Columbia College, Audrey Richter. Columbia College Psychology major, Isabel Jubin. And Columbia College Sustainable Development major, Julia Sampson. Representing Women's Tennis, Columbia College Neuroscience and Behavior major, Renee Wren. And representing Volleyball, a political science major with a concentration in business management from Columbia College, Grace Campbell. Congratulations to all 4.0 club honorees. Hello, everyone. This is Lily Rodriguez, Director of Enrichment Services on the Successor Wellbeing Team. We're happy you're with us today. To all the student athletes and alumni we're honoring, on behalf of the entire Successor Wellbeing Team, we're all so proud of you. I'm proud to introduce this year's Dean's List presentation. We will be honoring 555 student athletes from all of Columbia's 31 varsity sports programs. Congratulations to all our honorees. This is Ariel Robinson from the Success the Wellbeing team. This afternoon, I am honored to introduce Amber Twarnarski as our keynote speaker. Amber is currently a strategy consultant at Galton Company based in New York City. 
A former student athlete and a graduate of 2020, Amber can empathize with what many of our current student athletes are experiencing. Remote learning, a loss of athletic season, dealing with the unknown. Through all of these obstacles, Amber was able to find meaning and hope. Amber was the co-president of our Student Athlete Advisory Committee, captain of the softball team, and the 2020 Columbia College Scholar Athlete Award recipient. In addition to sharing with us her reflections, we also recognize Amber tonight for being both a Dean's List and a 4.0 honoree. Please join me in welcoming Columbia College Class of 2020 graduate, Amber Swinarski. Hi everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Amber Swinarski and I graduated last year as a member of the Columbia softball team. Student athletes, parents, coaches, faculty, and administrators. It really is an honor to be here speaking to you all today. Although it is a bit weird, I was in the student athlete shoes so recently that I often feel like I still am. I've spent a lot of time reflecting on my Columbia student athlete experience though. And I'm so grateful to have formed and kept relationships with so many people that have both challenged and supported me as a student and athlete, and most importantly, a person. The community we have here is so special and it's a little extra special to be here as a recent grad because many of those people who had a profound impact on me personally are here today. With all of that being said, I'm so happy to be speaking to such a great group. Part of the reason I was asked to speak here today is because as a member of the class of 2020, to a certain extent, I can understand what you all have had to go through over the past year. Having seasons canceled, being forced into living situations you hadn't planned for, your normal routine thrown out the window, and being away from the same community we just acknowledged as being an integral part of the Columbia student athlete experience. I know it can be exhausting to go over the recap and reflections of the circumstances we are in due to the pandemic. It's been covered over and over and over again. And as much as I would love to skip over it, it's something we have to acknowledge to fully appreciate your accomplishment. We are here to celebrate. As tough as this past year has been though, it's impressive to see some of the ways we've coped as individuals, a community, and even more broadly as a society. I mean, people are actually washing their hands now, which I'd say is a win. No, but in all seriousness, I'm actually referring to the revolution we are witnessing in technology. You guys are taking classes in a completely virtual format. I'm in the same boat. I took a job that would normally involve four days of travel per week, but I've been completely virtual since I started this past summer. You can go to the doctor, attend a job fair, get one-on-one -on -one personal training, go on a date, all virtually. Although our virtual world is not perfect, if we compare it to where we first began in our frantic transition last spring, it's pretty amazing to see how far things have come. However, one thing I think we still haven't gotten quite right in this virtual world is celebrations. Zoom birthday parties, weddings, and graduations just aren't quite the same as the real thing. The introverts are probably listening right now like, yeah, isn't it so much better? No, but really, I'm not just talking about parties. I'm talking about everything worth celebrating. A big one I'm sure you all are missing, and I know I definitely was, was celebrating with your teammates, whether it be on or off the field. For this reason, I think being a student athlete during the pandemic, and particularly a student athlete that's not able to train or compete with their team, has been a very interesting and unique challenge. Pre-pandemic, during my senior year at Columbia, I was in a job interview, and the interviewer asked me, how do you celebrate your accomplishments? And I thought about it for a second. That definitely wasn't a question I expected or prepared for. And the only thing I could think of was, I usually like to celebrate with my team. I just couldn't think of anything better than having that kind of support and excitement from people who know exactly how hard you worked to do something worth celebrating. I think that's a lot harder to understand if you didn't play a college sport. And that was clearly not the answer he was looking for. So he kind of pushed back with, okay, but what do you do to celebrate? Like if you're not with your team or you can't celebrate with them. And so I thought about it again and I'm like, honestly, I don't really do anything. Of course, I'm happy for myself, but I don't really go out of my way to do anything different. He didn't push me anymore, um, but he did leave me with something along the lines of, well, you should. It doesn't have to be big, but you should get in the habit of celebrating your accomplishments. To this day, I'm not completely sure what he was trying to get out with that question. And no, I did not get the job for anyone wondering, but I've thought about this interaction a lot. Growing up playing sports, we kind of developed the never satisfied mindset. This is part of what makes us successful as athletes, inspiring us to stay motivated in failure and keep pushing ourselves during success. The determination to get through any obstacle and find a way to win can also be great outside of your sport too. 
we become great problem solvers, confident leaders, and resilient people. However, as we've missed out on so many celebrations this past year and been left with more time for reflection, I've also come to believe the same mindset makes it very difficult for us to pause and be proud of ourselves. Ask yourself the same question. What do you do to celebrate your accomplishments? A lot of you are probably thinking the same thing I was. Why do I bring all of this up? The reason you are here attending this ceremony is worthy of celebration in normal circumstances. And this year, it's definitely worth a little extra celebration. It's been a challenging year. I don't need to list out examples of the chaos, uncertainty, frustration, and loss you all have been subjected to. You already know it. But I will acknowledge the resilience and adaptability you, you, all, has ha you all have had as you've made it this far, and you've taken everything in stride. You should be proud of that alone, but on top of that, you've also managed to exceed expectations academically, and that is worthy of celebration. And yes, this ceremony is a start, but like I said, it's not quite the same. So I ask that when this is over, you take a second to one, be proud of yourself, and two, find a way to celebrate. And if you don't know how, take this as an opportunity to learn how to celebrate yourself. Easier said than done, and this is something I'm still learning how to do as well. But to pause and make a conscious effort is a great start. Before I go, I wanted to express my admiration for your accomplishment one last time. I did Zoom school for half a semester and it was not easy to stay motivated. I have no doubt that you will continue to find a way to keep pushing and be successful regardless of the circumstances. Each of you has already proven that you're more than capable. Thank you again for the privilege to be here and I can't wait until the day we can all come back together and celebrate your future accomplishments in person. It's been a tough year. We wish you the very best luck. Congratulations on a great, great semester academically, great semester athletically, and I know it hasn't been on the field, but we're all very proud of you. From the class of 2021, Christine Kim, a member of the archery team, majoring in neuroscience and behavior with a concentration in East Asian studies at Columbia College. Alexa Konomites, a member of the field hockey team, majoring in biology at Columbia College. Lucas Adams, a member of the football team, majoring in financial economics at Columbia College. Alexandria Abzi, a member of the lacrosse team, majoring in political science with a concentration in modern Greek studies at Columbia College. Leah Jones, a member of the lacrosse team, majoring in political science at Columbia College. Chelsea Wittick, a member of the lacrosse team, majoring in neuroscience and behavior at Columbia College. Luke Bolster, a member of the men's basketball team, majoring in American studies at Columbia College. Jacob Clores, a member of the men's basketball team, majoring in psychology at Columbia College. Austin Cox, a member of the heavyweight crew team, majoring in history at the School of General Studies. Maxwell Amsterdam, a member of the lightweight crew team, majoring in computer science at Columbia College. Ji Ho Hun, a member of the men's swimming and diving team, majoring in computer science at Columbia College. William Tan, a member of the men's swimming and diving team, majoring in computer science with a concentration in economics at Columbia College. Jack Lin, a member of the men's tennis team, majoring in psychology at Columbia College. Riley Jacobs, a member of the wrestling team, majoring in financial economics at Columbia College. Madeline Meyer, a member of the softball team, majoring in biomedical engineering at the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Alan Spiller, a member of the women's basketball team, majoring in psychology with a concentration in business management at Columbia College. Maria Chart, a member of the women's fencing team, majoring in mechanical engineering at the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Dunya Habush, a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in psychology at Columbia College. Maeve Hogan, a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in American studies at Columbia College. Juliette Larmuso, a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in psychology at Columbia College. Sofia Majorova, a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in history at Columbia College. Ruben Nadar, a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in art history, visual arts at Barnard College. Sawyer Norton, a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in psychology and Hispanic studies at Columbia College. Antonogi Dakanakis, a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in sociology with a concentration in women's and gender studies at Columbia College. Hope Weissman, 
a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in film and media studies at Columbia College. Juliet Allen, a member of the women's soccer team, majoring in biochemistry at Columbia College. Kayla Davis, a member of the women's soccer team, majoring in economics with a concentration in business management at Columbia College. Samantha Slusher, a member of the women's soccer team, majoring in economics with a concentration in computer science at Columbia College. Doria Chen, a member of the women's squash team, majoring in computer science and economics at Columbia College. Nicole Kendall, a member of the women's squash team, majoring in psychology and sociology at Columbia College. Caroline Soper, a member of the women's squash team, majoring in evolutionary biology of the human species with a concentration in public health at Columbia College. Alyssa Phelps, a member of the women's swimming and diving team, majoring in history with a concentration in East Asian studies. Lily Yi, a member of the women's swimming and diving team, majoring in financial economics with a concentration in psychology at Columbia College. From the class of 2022, Sean Higgins, a member of the baseball team, majoring in sociology at Columbia College. Allison Smith, a member of the field hockey team, majoring in psychology at Columbia College. Cameron Brown, a member of the football team, majoring in financial economics with a concentration in business management at Columbia College. Xavier Sabot, a member of the football team, majoring in neuroscience and behavior at Columbia College. Rachel Graff, a member of the lacrosse team, majoring in political science at Columbia College. Ryan Schlaugetter, a member of the lacrosse team, majoring in psychology at Columbia College. Ben Milstein, a member of the men's basketball team, majoring in political science with a concentration in economics at Columbia College. Luke Sorelli, a member of the men's cross country and track and field team, majoring in civil engineering with a minor in earth and environmental engineering, applied physics at the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Anthony Costantino, a member of the men's lightweight crew team, majoring in political science at Columbia College. Nico Hughes, a member of the men's squash team, majoring in classics with a concentration in Italian at Columbia College. Jonathan Cheng, a member of the men's swimming and diving team, majoring in financial economics with a concentration in psychology at Columbia College. Jackson England, a member of the men's swimming and diving team, majoring in psychology with a concentration in educational studies at Columbia College. David Wang, a member of the men's swimming and diving team, majoring in financial economics with a concentration in computer science at Columbia College. Lauren Apollaro, a member of the softball team, majoring in sustainable development with a concentration in political science at Columbia College. Monique Benjamin, a member of the softball team, majoring in psychology with a concentration in Latin American and Caribbean studies at Columbia College. Haley Weatherill, a member of the softball team, majoring in psychology at Columbia College. Valentina Boss, a member of the women's fencing team, majoring in neuroscience and behavior at Columbia College. Anika Sapatsaris, a member of the women's fencing team, majoring in architecture with a concentration in modern Greek studies at Columbia College. Marlene Tartero, a member of the women's golf team, majoring in biology at Columbia College. Rachel Kenny, a member of the women's cross country team, majoring in political science with a concentration in Russian language and culture at Columbia College. Kaylee Hatcher, a member of the women's cross country and track and field team, majoring in film and media studies with a concentration in African American studies at Columbia College. Sydney Scott, a member of the women's cross country and track and field team, majoring in political science at Columbia College. Clara Geffs, a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in psychology with a concentration in public health at Columbia College. Emily Mitchell, a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in psychology with a concentration in public health at Columbia College. Habiba Muhammad, a member of the women's squash team, majoring in financial economics at Columbia College. Pranjali Sharma, a member of the women's squash team, majoring in computer science with a concentration in psychology at the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Lindsay Rispoli, a member of the women's swimming and diving team, majoring in financial economics at Columbia College. Emily Wang, a member of the women's swimming and diving team, majoring in economics with a concentration in East Asian studies at Columbia College. Caitlin Sullivan, 
a member of the women's tennis team, majoring in economics with a concentration in psychology at Columbia College. From the class of 2023, Olivia Cho, a member of the archery team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Nidhi Kanchumarthi, a member of the archery team, majoring in neuroscience and behavior at Barnard College. Zoe Meschel, a member of the archery team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Frederic Fire, a member of the field hockey team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Zoe Metelios, a member of the field hockey team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Lucas Aaron Baru, a member of the men's cross country and track and field team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Andrew Zheng, a member of the men's fencing team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Cameron Nelson, a member of the men's heavyweight crew team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Justin Abbey, a member of the men's lightweight crew team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Matthew Goodman, a member of the men's soccer team, majoring in computer science with a concentration in economics at School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Andy Lee, a member of the men's swimming and diving team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Jonathan Sukow, a member of the men's swimming and diving team, majoring in philosophy with a concentration in economics at Columbia College. Kaya McCall, a member of the softball team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Jane Collins, a member of the women's rowing team, major is undeclared at Barnard College. Rebecca Collins Pfeiffer, a member of the women's rowing team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Felicity Diamond, a member of the women's rowing team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Elisa Luo, a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in computer science with concentrations in statistics, operations research, and applied math at School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Phoebe Rossman, a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in comparative literature in Arabic and English at Barnard College. Maylise Wetzel, a member of the women's rowing team, majoring in computer science with a concentration in French and Francophone studies at School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Jordan Beverina, a member of the women's soccer team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Cynthia Cow, a member of the women's squash team, major is undeclared at Barnard College. Brenna Dougal, a member of the women's squash team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Eliza Fox, a member of the women's squash team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Michelle Chu, a member of the women's tennis team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Mackenzie Metter, a member of the women's volleyball team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. From the class of 2024, Maya Walker, a member of the field hockey team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Christopher Jenner, a member of the football team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Sophia McHugh, a member of the lacrosse team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Lauren Young, a member of the lacrosse team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Milo Walshy, a member of the men's heavyweight rowing team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Benjamin Kunn, a member of the men's cross country and track and field team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Anish Nanchapa, a member of the men's cross country and track and field team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. T.H. Way, a member of the men's cross country and track and field team, major is undeclared at the School of Engineering and Applied Science. Andre Williams, a member of the men's cross country and track and field team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Harold Castillo, a member of the men's squash team, major is undeclared at the School of Engineering and Applied Science. Rutvik Rao, a member of the men's squash team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Samir Saxena, a member of the men's squash team, major is undeclared at the School of Engineering and Applied Science. Noah Salusta, a member of the men's swimming and diving team, major is undeclared at the School of Engineering and Applied Science. Rocco Horvat, a member of the men's tennis team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Lauren Osborne, a member of the softball team, Major is undeclared at Columbia College. Mary Angel Lobone, a member of the women's basketball team. Major is undeclared at Barnard College. Vera Khan, a member of the women's fencing team. Major is undeclared at Columbia College. Shira Cohen, a member of the women's soccer team. 
major is undeclared at Columbia College. Margaret Meyerson, a member of the women's squash team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Emma Babashak, a member of the women's swimming and diving team, major is undeclared at the School of Engineering and Applied Science. Allegra Walker, a member of the women's swimming and diving team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Julia Haynes, a member of the women's tennis team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Tatiana Ziff, a member of the women's tennis team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Hugo Hamilton, a member of the men's soccer team, major is undeclared at Columbia College. Congratulations to all 4.0 club honorees. Good evening. This is Yana Rivers, Administrative Assistant and Tutoring Coordinator in the, on the Success to Wellbeing team. The great Vince Lombardi said, the quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to their commitment to excellence, regardless of their chosen field of endeavor. When you have the right people to support you, although we are not all physically together, you find that unity is strength Unity achieves tremendous results as is evident in celebrating so many of you achieving academic excellence today. On behalf of the entire Department of Athletics, we are extremely proud of your accomplishments, perseverance, and of you. Congratulations to all of you. Good evening.